time with the darlings. Mike's making fun of me because I did my little hair thing. Like, you know, I'm sure all of us girls do. So, anyways, what's up, you guys? This is Mike. I'm back. You got me a faith in the back if you don't know us yet. Oh, and she's eating a dum-dum with gum, so really a blow pop, but you guys, it, was, it is Wednesday. Mike got off at like 11.30, which is like totally awesome. Yeah, so we're going to go handle some business and get a coffee first and meet some of Mike's tool guys to handle some business there, and then probably stop at Walmart. Maybe thrift store. I really want to talk to Daddy about the thrift store. So. I'll go thrift store. And I'll Daddy show you all my new store. toy I'm getting. Yay! You guys, I had to include this picture. This is us at the thrift store, and obviously Mike in a wig, so I thought this was hilarious. Yes, we're going to show y'all Daddy's new toy. And... Oh, Colfax. Oh, girl. <laughs> is she in uh, shorts? I hope they're shorts yes. and like... I thought they were like tan boxers. pants. I know. Sometimes. Girl, I know you're freezing your ass off. But you got a coat on. <laughs> she had like booty shorts with the coat. You know what I mean? And a hat. <laughs> you must be new to homeless because it's not facts. about being stylish. It is when you got to make that loot, baby. Huh? It's you got to make man. that loot and show some skin even when it's freezing outside. Because winter's sitting you in. To support you and your old man's habit, you know what I mean? And guys are cool with it. I never understood, man, the whole drug thing. This is not a good time to be something. homeless in Denver. No. Because winter's like, today's cold, winter's coming. It's supposed to start snowing tonight, you guys, so. Yes. Yeah. Oh, this dude's trying oh. to get over. probably thought I was doing this to him. Right. Don't mind us for making the video. Yep, we got an eight hour day today. Awesome. I went in at 3.30. I had the option. I could have stayed. Got my 10 or 12. But if they give me the option, I'm going to leave after Daddy's 8. Home. And really, I didn't have a lot to do. I already knocked all my shit out. All the other jobs I got going on up there just, they're too big to start today. So I was like, I'm going. And they're already talking about shutting our plant down tomorrow. Because it's going to start raining and then go into a snow. They made a call last year, same scenario, it was one of our first ones. It rained and then it snowed. And they made the option to run the plant. We had four accidents. So now they're really shell shocked because there was a couple times mid year last year they called it early in the morning. I'd only been at work a couple hours and they called and said, Everybody go home. And within a couple hours, it kind of let up. But up where I work, safety is a real big thing. So it's cool. Anytime we can get an early day. You are an idiot not to take it because we don't get many of them. All right, mommy. We're gonna eat our coffee we'll now. Yeah. Okay. What do you want? Nothing. Nothing. I got my coffee right here. Hi, Jerry. How up? are you? Good. Can I get just a large iced americano? Okay. Two, two sugar-free caramels. One to heavy whipping. Okay. And that's it. And a small, small whipstick. <laughs> you don't want nothing? No. Nothing? Uh, yeah. Alright, and... Uh, 350 and you cash well, right? Yes, sweetheart. She wants you to take the sucker. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Can I throw this in your cup? Thank you. Yes, you got gum. Awesome. Yes, honey.
Yeah, sweetheart. Thank you, Now I'm feeling good. Well, I hope so, because I'm like... It's really my hands that are cold. I know, I'll do my hands. Yes, honey? Um... She's got gum. Oh, you got gum? Mm -hmm. And lipstick. Mm -hmm. Had to make her beautiful with <clears throat> mommy. This, oh, I was going to tell you, it's probably pretty hot. No, that's how I like it. I just wasn't thinking. <laughs> I'm gonna have to get a Dutch Brothers, you guys. Oh my gosh. Hi. Hi, how are you? Alright. Just the regular and a little whipstick? Wonderful, yeah. thank I'm you. Give me one little whipstick. Yes, yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Mommy will hold your gum and then you can have your gum back. Thank you. you are Look so it. Welcome. Let me see your gum. Give me your gum. There we are. Thank you. Oh, you have a good one. Thank you. You swallowed your gum? Of course you did. Oh my god. Why wouldn't she? She straight swallowed it. Yeah. Eat it. Whipstick. Oh, thank you, Daddy. Oh. Needed this. Needed this. So now we're off. I gotta go get a a tool repaired. I thrashed my ratchet. And I'm getting a new toy. Mama don't even know about it. No, I didn't. But being Until that she's said, here, We're gonna show so you're going to find out at the same time Mama I'm cool is. With it. I called asking about a used care. tool. If he had any of this particular tool used. Because he needs this tool. <laughs> I do need this tool. Fuck so, it, walk down the middle of the fucking. Really? He did, it's and it's, this is my snap-on dude. He called, and, or he texted me back. He said, man, he said, I'm sorry I don't, blah, blah, blah. But I do have this, and he sent me a picture, and he said, he's putting me under a new uh, a new account. Because the, the current account what, I have right VIP now, account? I like telling this to people because I love my snap-on. But I have like a $25,000 limit. Never in my life would I use it. It's just nice knowing I have it. But my account got lift. My 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 account got more. I don't know where I'm at yet. But they call it a kid account. And so what it did by him upgrading me, I got a hell of discount on this tool. Because normally I would not have bought this. Yes, I need it, but I probably would have went to a pawn shop or I would have kept looking. But he gave me. Just an offer I couldn't refuse. Cool. So, Mama didn't know, so I'm excited to see what it is. And you guys, I am always. It's a half cool inch impact, but it's battery operated. Oh, ever... what? A half inch impact, but it's battery oh, operated. Okay. Well, like good. the one I won but got rid of? Yes. Really? Yeah. But I still wouldn't have wanted that one because I had won first prize. At my company picnic a while back. And it was cool. It was a Milwaukee half inch drive. But it was a new, it was their newer one. And you can connect this thing to Bluetooth and run it from your phone. Set torque specs, set all kinds of stuff. And to me, that's what's what I'm looking for. Really fucking retarded. There's nothing, there's no tool in the world that needs that many gizmos on it. So anyway. I'm old school. I like air tools. I like everything from air, I still prefer it. But we've been having a lot of situations with our service truck. And our shop doesn't have one right now. And that's, I probably won't get into that because there's probably an ethics thing involved. Let's just say it's not this guy's fault. We don't have a service truck. But anyway, so I've been burned a couple times not being able to use my air tools when I'm out or up top of the mine. And let me tell you something, it's a bitch. I don't mind doing old school wrenching. I 75% what I 75% of what I do is just still all wrenches. But in any case, the other day I really needed one, but it had no air. And it just I'm not gonna get caught without again. I just can't. Look at that, they're building like a market. Because I don't like I try to knock my jobs out quick. 
super quick. And it just, man, it really held me back the other day. So anyway, I got a new toy. And she a beauty. Woo! Daddy deserves everything and more. Daddy deserves the world. So I'm going to my Snap-on dude to pick up my new gun. He's all excited. Good. And even threw in an extra battery. Because they only ever come with one when you buy one. But this guy right here gets two. Because I need two. And then I got to go see my Matco guy, though. Get the warranty on my ratchet. Which is not a big deal. Anybody out there that knows the ratchets, it ain't nothing but a snap ring that holds all the guts in. So he'll pop it out, put some new guts in there, and yeah. I'm back in business. Yeah. And of course, 90% of the tools I bring to them, it's because I was misusing them. And they all know it. And they don't ever give me hell for it. Because technically, they're not supposed to warranty it. If you misused it. But I'm always very honest. Because I'm very... I take great care of my tools. But every now and then, there's just... There's a job or something that needs to be done. And this particular day, I needed my ratchet because I was by myself. And I needed something with a long handle to hold as I hit it the other end with an impact. Never run an impact on a ratchet. Because one thing's going to happen. You're going to tear all the guts up inside as I did. Then after I get my couple things done, then it's Mom and Mia's day. Thrift stores, Walmarts. So excited. Just That's their domain. Daddy. Thrift store. Oh my gosh, you guys. I'll be showing you what we picked up later. <laughs> I have more self-control. Because like when I go down to my Snap-on Dudes warehouse, make no mistake, I could use every bit of my I credit want one limits. Of everything. Is that what it is? And then some. I could use my my credit limit. I could use my truck account because I also have a truck account. I don't even know what that is. But I could get stupid uh, when I go to his warehouse because, oh, my God, he's got all the toys that I love. Daddy get hard on in the Man. <laughs> snap building. Huh? And I remember last time I was down there when I grabbed my new box, he had one of the new snap-on boxes there. Big old triple bank, top and bottom with lockers. Oh, my God. How much? It was almost 20000 20, I could have loaded it up, I but I... I don't think people realize how much, like, especially, like, for heavy machinery mechanics, how much toolboxes really are. You think, oh, okay, at the most 1500 But understand, you don't, you don't need to buy the Snap-on or the Matco or the Mac or the corner. You don't have to. So it's like Nike, like buying... Exactly. Nike, yeah. I mean, when it comes to tools, you know, Harbor Freight, a lot of my sockets are Harbor Freight. I've never in my life busted one of my impact sockets from Harbor Freight, but I do have two snap-on sockets that I cracked. A 15 16 and a one inch. Cracked them right down the middle. And they'll give me new ones and it's all good, but I've never ever broke any of my Harbor Freight Pittsburgh sockets. But when it comes to my wrenches and my impacts and my specialty tools, Harbor Freight doesn't sell stuff like that. And this, Harbor Freight sells a pretty decent impact. It's not bad, but it's not like my snap-on guns. I just, when I go back together with something, I've never lost anything in my life. An idler, a track, a wheel, a dog bone, a boom. I've never lost anything I've put together. That's why there's, there's certain things, it's, it pays to buy the good stuff. So, but you don't have to Buy the That's like tampons. I can't buy no cheap ass tampons. <laughs> I gotta buy like Tampax, the name brand, baby. Huh? There's certain things that okay you like to buy. <laughs> I've never had anybody use that analogy. <laughs> tampons and snap-on tools. <clears throat> Yet yeah, Mike carries a tampon in his wallet. In his I wallet. used to. In his, I used um, to carry it in my lunchbox. The only the story behind it was. We used it one time when we went to the mountains. And it was mama's time. We just threw some of her shit in my lunchbox and we took off. Well, one stayed in there. And it was, you know, I knew it was in there when I'm making my lunch. I just never pulled it out. But it became my trademark, especially over at Western. Because I really had to deal with all the truck drivers. And let me tell you something, a lot of these operators and drivers, babies, babies. So it became a thing. Guys would come in crying. I'd say, hey, man, I got something for you. And I'd flick it at them. 
of course they would say fuck you and call me names and get pissed off because hey look man don't be a baby you're bleeding pussy <laughs> that's and that was the meaning behind it but I it, it, by the time I took it out I carried it for over a year in my box by the time I was done with it it was all greasy and done in not even opened it was never even opened but then guys got to know when they came in and complained about something I said hey I got something for you they already knew it was coming and they would just leave. It's just, hey, any, anybody who's a mechanic, when it comes to the, the drivers or the operators, hey, you got some real good ones. You got some real good ones out there, but man, you got some whiny, you got some whiny motherfuckers you gotta deal with. Where I work now, I'm really fortunate. All the operators up there, you know, heavy equipment operators are a little bit different. I mean, you still can get some whiny ones. And you get the ones who don't take care of their equipment. But I'm really fortunate for the plant that I work at. Because these guys, they take real good care of their equipment. We have a couple pieces that nobody is assigned to. That pretty much everybody just uses throughout the day. And those machines get beat up because no one's held responsible for them. But our big stuff, like our haul trucks and our big 990s and things like that, our dozer. The, oper the same operators every day in there. They're pretty good, man. They take pride in their equipment. And that's pretty, that's really rare to find because everybody has that mentality. It's not mine. I didn't pay for it. Fuck it. I'm not gonna take care of it. You know, you tell someone treat it like you treat your own shit. Yeah, right. Well, gas to the gas pedal to the floor. You know what I mean? It's just. The floor, the it's what it rough is. Rough on it. Rough on it. Abusive with it. Yep. Yeah. Mama, I'm going on my talk again. Would you like to jump in? You are out Okay, daddy's back. Look what daddy got. Uh, daddy get a toy. Mommy um, face. Heavy. Yeah. Heavy. Daddy's all excited. Brand new in the box. No, he redid my truck account. I told him I still want to continue to pay what I'm paying. We'll be back. So, it has become peaceful for a few more minutes Yay. here. And we are back on our side of town after picking Daddy's tool up. We had to stop at the house, you guys. I thought I was going to seriously pee my pants. After giving birth to the baby, I can't hold pee. You guys, I have to pee so bad sometimes, so I was not going to make it. And so. for me, going on 50, I can't hold pee either. See? So we had to stop and pee at the house. So now we're going to the thrift store. And I get to pee outside. Yes. That's the cool thing about where we live and have an acre of property. Well, you could, but I just, I, just I don't want to take my work boots off. So I just go by, behind one of our trees and it's we awesome. We the barn. Yeah. But something I've noticed with all my friends that come over, and you might remember this, but my buddy Brian, um, Austin, I can't, man, I forgot old boys, Tim. And I remember Tim asked in a sense of, hey man, can I pee in your backyard? All my buddies want to pee really? outside when they come to the house. Because they can. <laughs> Be just because they can. It's, it's, like man, being a, it's like being in the mountains. And they're always, because I asked him, he said, why? I said, why wouldn't I want to pee out here? I'm like, well, go pee then. That's true, I guess. <laughs> but everybody likes to go on the I back of our man, property I and sure go would. pee. I only do it because I don't want to have to take my work boots off. Junior does it all the time. Junior pees out there all the time. Because it's just, we have, the, you can do it. No one's going to see you. Must be nice. I try and pee out there. Dick be showing them. <laughs> that sounds awful, doesn't it? Like, and Dick's just going to probably do one of these. Big old white ass. Like. <laughs> He's just going to put his hand up like this and keep walking. <laughs> yeah. That and maybe so. say something later. So I noticed you were in an uncompromising position when I pulled yeah, up. Because exactly. that's about how he talks. Everything's got to be so proper when he speaks. Yeah. It's fun to listen to that old man talk. Yeah. It really is. And then if he ever decides to watch YouTube... Now he's gonna know. I pee in the backyard, Dick. And all my friends do too. <laughs> like, they just like peeing in the yard. That's all right, come on, 
truck. Go on. Go on. Don't slow down because I'm slowing down. I know. They got this all fucked up. Colfax, where we live, is always fucked up. I need to get over again. Well, thank you. Come on, go, 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 go. You're on the middle of traffic, dummy. That was pretty nutsy. You could go this way. Or nutsy, gutsy. Because what if I didn't want to be let you in? You'd be Ooh. sitting there going the wrong way, or with his ass in the other line of traffic. People just suck. Nobody wants to let anybody over anymore. I let everybody over, and I do. I especially let, like, all the big truckers over. Always let like, truckers over. Because of Always. Are you telling me, like, it's just, man. Respect just always, your truckers. Because remember one thing. How we get our goods and our... Everything. Every little piece you see in your car that you're driving, that you're digging, to your phone, to your case, to your little air fresheners. Every single thing that you're surrounded on and sitting on was brought to you one way, and that's by a trucker. To our soap we wash our ass with, to our... Everything. To our, yeah. You can stop right here and look. Truck. Do a complete circle. Every single thing you put your eye on <coughs> got here one way. Buy a truck. Trucks. You gotta respect the truckers, man. I wonder if I should run into Dollar Tree and grab her just a couple puzzles. Do you wanna do that? Because she's out. She's out. Yeah. This will be a good nap for her. And then. What kind of skid they run? Run over to. Ooh, 246. Those suck ass to work on. They're just like my 226. <laughs> Well, not as bad, but bad enough. Should I do that? Running? Yes. Okay. Let's do that, Mama. Let her sleep. Uh oh. I kind of stir. Okay, I don't have a stop sign, right? No. no. Okay. What's up, homie? So you got your pad, your there's blanket? A, you guys, there's a halfway house right here on the corner so if y'all have family there the address is 1651 Kendall Lakewood Colorado 80214 <laughs> Mike remembers <laughs> I do because I've been in that thing twice in my life and it's just one of those addresses Let me off the door. that just stuck in my retarded head mama's in Dollar Tree baby still asleep see how quiet that is it's pretty awesome but on the flip side, I love it when she's awake because right now we would just be going back and forth talking about absolutely nothing. Because she is talking more and more every day, making more and more sentences, getting more animated, more not emotion, her mannerisms when she speaks. It's awesome. I love these days when I get off early. And on days like this, I always feel like, I almost feel lazy. Because I worked an eight hour shift, and to most an eight hour shift is a full day. When I work an eight hour shift, it's it's just not normal. It's like, it's not even a half a day for me. It's just crazy what you get used to. And in my line of work, it's always been 12, 15 hour days. It's just what it is. It's just a, it's the nature of the game. Anytime I can get my ass home quick, I do so. Because there's no place I'd rather be than hanging out with Beck and Mia. It's where I have my most fun. It's just, it's where I want to be every hour of the day. If I could get paid to stay with my family, I'd be a billionaire. A lot of guys will make cracks and jokes about their old ladies, whether it's in fun or not. 
And you know, I've never been that dude. And all my people know that. All my partners know that. I don't make jokes about, oh, the ball and chain, or I got to mama's got me doing this or mama's got me doing that because it's never like that with me I love my wife I want to be with her 24-7 I don't care where we go Walmart Dollar Tree doesn't matter every minute I spend with her is the best minutes of my days she is my world and I don't say that just to say it. She is my world. Anything would ever if anything would ever happen to her, it would rock my fucking world and it would fuck me up. But nothing's gonna happen. So let's get off that topic. It's kind of crazy over here right now. This parking lot is usually jamming, jamming. It's probably the weather. A lot of people are... I bet Walmart is going to be packed. Because every time there's a big storm coming, I mean, people stock up on... I don't know, everything. We get a we get the warning of a big storm coming and people think it's going to be like the storm of the century. But it's usually all the people that are not from here. Because I don't care if it drops two feet of snow. We're going to be out in it. Because I, one, I love the snow, and it's just, it's awesome. Coloradans, true Coloradans, the ones that are born and raised here, it doesn't matter what falls. We're going to get out and get our business done. But we have so many people from other places. And when these storms hit, it is chaos. It's just a wreck. I don't worry about me driving. I don't worry about mama driving, because mama is a beast in all weather. It's the other people. I'm not going to sit here and say from what states, because it's from any state. They're just not, they're not used to it. And if you're not used to it, man, stay home. Don't go driving in something that you don't know how to drive in. And over here, you see walks of... <laughs> every different part of the tracks over here, every walks of life, I promise you. Here you have comedy, drama, violence, and sex. It's a cool place, like this strip mall where Casa Benita is. It is an awesome place. It's just, it's very old, it's run down, but this, this is the part of town where me and Beck feel the most comfortable. Don't make no mistake, we love where we live love it it's just I don't know are they really our breed of people no when I say breed of people I don't mean that by race yeah because well, we always make the joke we live among them I just I like the ghetto I like the old neighborhood I'm comfortable I fit in it's just this is where we like to be Not really worried about talking in all this dead time. Because Mama gonna edit this later. So we're good. And so when Mama is editing, I love you so much. You are my fucking world. You are my every reason. You are my every breath. You know that. Without you, I am nothing. I wouldn't be, I would not be where I am today if it was not for my wife. I won't say I'd be back in prison or I'd be back to doing wrong. But I wouldn't be where I am today. Nowhere close. She is my rock. She is my sanity. She's my fucking everything. Period. <laughs> just the way some people dress just cracks me up. I mean cool if you got the balls to dress like some like the way some of these people do man more power to you I know you don't see it but believe me 
<laughs> There's another one. We got some characters over here, man. It's awesome. Any of you remember the show Bonanza? <laughs> and if you do, do you remember Hoss? He was the big-ass cowboy. Remember that big-ass cowboy hat he wore? <laughs> There's a dude who just walked in the laundry mat wearing that same hat. With a pair of sweats, a pair of boots, and a green army jacket. Tell me that's not awesome. <laughs> God love the people over here. And really, you know, for the most part, most of them are harmless. They're just... They're just doing them. You don't really never have to worry coming over here. Everyone here pretty much minds their own business. I mean, you got the few that straggle the sidewalks begging you for a cigarette or money or whatever. But man, you have that everywhere. But really, over, everybody over here is just doing their own thing, man. It's pretty groovy. And if any of you ever come through Colorado, you should check out Casa Bonita. I mean, is it real Mexican food? No. But you don't go there for the food. It's good food. But you don't go there for the, you go there for the entertainment. They have a they have divers in there. They have a cliff in there. And they dive into a little pool down at the bottom. And they put on little shows and little plays. They got a huge ass arcade. Then they have booths that you sit down, they'll take your they'll draw those funny pictures of you, or they got one place where you can dress up in all kinds of old western costumes and get a get your picture taken. They got uh, mariachis going all over, playing. They'll stop at your table and play for you. You go there for the environment. It's really, a, it really is a cool place. I've been going there since I was a kid. It's older than I am, but it's awesome. And really, it's Casa Bonita that keeps the strip mall alive. You know, yeah, a lot of stores kind of come and go, but eventually one comes in here and they stay and. That's right. I really believe it's Casa Bonita that keeps this entire strip alive. And when I go there, I like the cheese enchiladas. I get all you can eat. Get the cheese enchiladas with extra onions and get with it. Because their sauce really ain't that bad. Oh, there's Mama. Let's go get her. Let's go get my baby. Been talking into it. Tell them about this place. Awesome. It's almost a damn shame to wake her up to go in here. The balls. Hey guys, we're about to go in the thrift stores. I was so telling about one of the. I need to check the funds real quick. <laughs> I'm just kidding. You guys, we are literally, literally just walking into the door, so. Okay. Awesome. Yeah. Come here, come show them your hat. I got our doing time with the darling one. Come show them your hat. Come show them your hat. Look, so we hit up the thrift store, you guys. I'll show you guys what we got. Look at her hat she got. Is that not adorable, you guys? She needed a little winter hat, so, huh? Yeah, we need to wash it. I'll wash it. Okay. You want me to take your stuff off or dad? Okay. Shouldn't even ask, but... So you guys were, like, unpacking here. I had a gallon of milk. We stopped at Safeway. Oh, my God, I spent 60 bucks at Safeway on, like, nothing. A gallon of milk. You guys, I got a box of donuts for the baby for the day, for the next day. Wow. Ah. A couple days. You guys, we're gonna, do, huh? we're gonna do nachos tonight, so I got two bags of the scoops. They have a two for six, I think. I got some tomatoes for nachos, some hamburger meat for nachos. This is part of why, too. We got ice cream, big bag of cheese. You guys, I got 
guacamole already made. And some, oh my gosh, this is bomb, you guys. This is hatch green chili queso. Oh my God, bomb. You guys, this is a big reason too. I got a big bottle of baby needs the clear lax to poop. You guys, this is what I got from the Dollar Tree. All puzzles. She'll love that. Another little puzzle. She'll love that. Another puzzle. She'll love that. Then you guys, another one, 24. Another one was 48. We're gonna see. She should probably be able to do it. And look how cute that is. And you guys know she is an ally, but what she's gonna be for Halloween, so awesome. Those are surprises for her. And Daddy. Then you guys, I'm really excited about this. Oh my gosh, so stoked. This was five bucks at the thrift store. So I'm going to repaint it, um, spray paint it wood and hang it. Beautiful. Five bucks. <laughs> We're gonna probably hang it in Mia's room. So is that not cool? I'm going to paint it black, I believe. Mike said. Yeah, black. And you guys. Look at I'm gonna be able to use this for Christmas. It was a dollar twenty-five. I'm gonna be able to use it for Christmas and stick some fairy lights in there. You guys, it'll be adorable for a dollar. The windows, you you're gonna be able to like see the light inside. So dollar twenty-nine. Dollar twenty-nine. So cheap. So all together, you guys, we spent like seventy-five bucks today on this. Just that, that was it. So I'm gonna get to making nachos. And brother, and grandpa, and nana, and me of faith, I'll let me faith, mommy, daddy, now mommy. Thank you, dear God, for this food. I'm Gecko. In Jesus' name, amen.